So what does that look like? Well, let's show you. Imagine this. Imagine three. I imagine that this guy was probably waiting for years to be able to use this technology. Like when he got a job at the media, he knew that they have access to this tech. It was like, come on, a natural disaster, a war. Like, give me something. I want to use it. <laughs> uh, all jokes aside, though, I wonder if Pentagon has something like this. And like, there's a, a battle going on, and they're like, uh, bring on the technology, the tanks. <laughs> you know? Kind of cool. Uh, but it's a really good use because I have seen some people on Twitter that do not take this seriously at all. Like, there was this guy, uh, a kick streamer, and he went in a hurricane with a tent. And, and to be fair, like, he was protected because he set the tent under a bridge. Yeah. And he's lucky to be alive. But there's also other people that do not want to evacuate. So when you actually get to see this, you're like, oh, okay, it's it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Like, maybe maybe I shouldn't be there. Three feet of storm surge right here. Now, if this amount of water catches you by surprise, it's too late to evacuate. Yeah, this is uh, still livable, though. Like, if you're in your house, you're going to get probably a lot of property damage and um we got floods in romania as well and uh, yeah like there, there's not much you can do if this happens because you got to stay in place you can't travel you know you can't even go to your neighbor uh th there's nothing you can do you can only hope that you're inside of a building and the storm passes soon and even after the storm passes uh they're still flooding and you gotta be careful with electricity, like, the best thing to do is to turn it off if you're at home. Uh, especially uh, if you have a basement or something like that, and there can be wires in there. So it's uh, a really good idea to turn off the electricity if the water starts going into the house. So it's right here. Now, if this amount of water catches you by surprise, it's too late to evacuate. Cars are floating around and floating away. There's large objects in here that could knock things down with a battering ram-like force. Now, there's no way, again, to evacuate with this kind of storm surge. But we know there's going to be places with more than three feet. Imagine six feet of storm surge. Now, this completely floods out the first floors of homes and businesses. And the only way to escape that is to move to the higher floor of a building. And also to pray that your house is built up to regulation and it's solid enough to withstand. Because, uh, yeah, as you mentioned... Uh, there are objects in the water that come with ramming speed. So you can actually have a car just ramming into your house. Uh, and depending on the wind, depending on uh, what other objects are in there, you can have trees and a lot of nasty stuff. Yeah, being caught into this is an absolute nightmare, especially if you actually fall into the water. Yeah, you're kind of done at that point. Like, it's horrible. I, I can't even imagine what it's like for people to be trapped under this. Now, unfortunately, there are going to be places that get more than six feet of storm surge flooding. Imagine this, nine feet and even beyond of flooding, of inundation. This is practically not survivable. Uh, I mean, uh, if you stay here, huh? Uh, no, yeah, it's it, it's pretty grim. It's pretty grim. And and again, the, the thing that baffles my brain is that there are kickstreamers that decided to uh, risk it. Uh, for clicks, I guess. And, and they didn't make a lot of money, you know? I, I suppose you can call it like an extreme sport, you know? Like, what's the difference between rock climbing without safety gear versus uh, going under a bridge with a tent? He's lucky to be alive when you think about it. He did say he's not going to try it again, so lesson learned. But, uh, yeah, Jesus. So please, follow the advice of your local officials when they ask you to evacuate. And if you have any questions about what evacuation zone you're in, if you need to go, and or where you need to go, go to Florida... Dis yeah, there's also another uh, issue. Like, these things can snap. And then you have, like, the water that's filled with electricity. Yeah, you know, say what you want about Florida and that it's a nice place. Um, I'm glad I actually don't get to live there. Holy shit. How often does this happen? I'm actually curious. Uh, let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys in the comment section. Take care.